in the name of science. <sighs> oh. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we're gonna to be talking about the removable cabinets in the back of all of these new Storyteller vans. This is something that I've mentioned in a lot of previous videos. However, I do not have any experience with it myself. Most storytellers that I see out on the road have all of the cabinets back here, but a while ago, a lot of people were kind of complaining about headroom right here. For me, it's not really an issue. I obviously just slammed my head on purpose there, but I do understand why people feel like it is kind of tight when you stick your head in here. I'm gonna bring you guys in for the real close up here. Now, one thing to note is that I have an upgraded mattress from Canyon Adventure Van, so my mattress is thicker than stock, so I'm even closer than I was when I first got the van. Let's actually get even more scientific about this and give you guys real world measurements. So remember here, upgraded Lux mattress, this is already going to be closer to this cabinet than stock, but right now from the mattress that I like, we're looking at about 16 inches of headroom. You throw a pillow into the mix. This is just a standard memory foam pillow. We're looking at about maybe 10 inches and that's with the pillow fluffed up. So when you're laying on here, you may have a little bit more, but I understand there's not a ton of headroom here. Some people don't really like that. Now, this has honestly never really bothered me. I kind of talked about it when I was first testing out a Stealth over a year ago and I said, yeah, I banged my head a couple of times, but then you just kind of get used to it. It is, of course, nice having storage on both the head side and your foot side, or whichever way you sleep. But since I have been adding more functionality to my van, I, of course, have the Canyon Adventure Vans GSS down here, so I have basically taken away the need for all of this storage back here. Over the past couple of weeks, the only thing that I've kept in the cabinet above my head were blankets, some hoist packets, just some like random odds and ends that just needed a place so they weren't laying out. This morning, I just did some organization in the van and now those cabinets are completely empty. So a little while ago, when people were talking about having more headroom in a storyteller, they actually took this customer feedback and made cabinets like this removable. I've said this before and I'll say it again, it is very rare that a company like Storyteller takes customer feedback and actually implements it right away. That's one of the many reasons why I really appreciate this company. So today, we are going to remove these upper cabinets. All you need is a ratchet, little extension, 7 16ths on here, and then I've just got a little baggie here to keep all of my hardware. So let's get to work. Going to start by popping these open here. There are actually little finger grooves kind of cut in here that you cannot see, but you can wedge your fingers in here. And then the bases of these cabinets are just held in place with some Velcro. Right side and the left side. Now for me personally, the only downside that I can see with doing this is I'm going to lose these lights under the bed here, the reading lights. And I really like these, but I will still have them down by my feet. So if we look up inside the cabinets here, we do have to remove this little plug for the lights. <sighs> Can't do it one-handed. There we go. Just a little Deutsch connector right like that. And now there are 7 sixteenths hardware, one, two, three studs, and then the same on the ceiling, one, two, and three. I'm gonna be putting all of the hardware in the same bag because it's all the same. So when I go to reinstall this at some point in the future, it doesn't really matter where these go. Now that all of the hardware on the bottom is off, I'm gonna do the same thing on the top, starting with the outside, and I will leave the middle stud still attached to hold the weight of the cabinet. Now, last but not least, the one directly in the middle. This is definitely best to do with two people, but it's just me for right now. Now, I can lean the cabinet out a little bit Make sure those top studs are free there. And now since I'm doing this by myself, I'm just gonna support the weight of this with the side of my mattress. Now I'm pulling the wire out of the cabinet and this thing is now ready to stow away. I'm going to put the bottom of the cabinets back in just for safekeeping. And I'm also going to leave the baggie of hardware in here as well. All right, check this out now. There is L-Track behind these cabinets, which of course is holding it in place. So 
you're losing the functionality of having storage right here, but you're gaining modularity of L-Track. So I can mount things like this right here. All of these different accessories that I have mounted up to L-Track, I can kind of double dip and put it right here as well. You are still left with the connection for the lights and these little studs in here. So I think the best way to get those out of there to make it nice and clean looking is probably by pulling this panel here. So I'm gonna pop this off. It's just a couple of screws and then I should be able to slide all the studs out, clean this up, and then we will have a finished product. And of course that last little stud there was difficult to get out. I was just tapping it lightly because you don't want to damage these threads, but these all look good. I'm gonna store these with the hardware as well. Now I can neatly tuck away the wire back here, put everything back together, and we'll be good. Living with a lot of headroom. All right, just a few minutes later and we no longer have a cabinet. We have a ton of headroom now. It's nice that Storyteller actually finishes behind here because it doesn't look incomplete at this point. You do have the new modularity of L-Track on here and it's nice to have more headroom. I just don't know what I'm going to do with this L-Track. If anything, I guess I could actually get some more baskets like this. That'd actually be a pretty good idea and just kind of hang them on the back here. Or there are also soft cabinets. They're kind of like bags that hang down, which would probably fit perfect here. And then I won't have to worry about banging my head on them. Downside is I did lose my lights. You do lose storage. Of course, I didn't need the storage, but let's check out that headroom. So we went from 16 inches without a pillow, 10 inches with a pillow to a lot, 29 inches. Now for the final test. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I like this. So there you guys have it. That's how you remove the cabinets in the rear of your Storyteller. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments down below. And I'm curious if any of you are Storyteller owners out there, do you have your cabinets in? Do you have them removed? Now that you know how to remove them, do you plan on removing them? Since I have the extra storage of the GSS below me here, I don't think I will even miss these being here. I definitely will not miss slamming my head in the middle of the night, so I'm gonna rock the van like this for a little while, and then in the future, if I decide to change that out, I will let you guys know. So that is all that I had for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.